Hi, I'm Joe Gertis, and this is Coffee in the Capital. Our guest today is State Representative Christina Sappi, representing the 158th Legislative District in Chester County. Representative Sappi serves on the House Agriculture and Rural Affairs Committee, the Tourism, Economic, and Recreational Development Committee, the Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee, and the Local Government Committee, where she serves as the Chairman of the Subcommittee for Townships. She's also been appointed to the Pennsylvania Local Government Commission of the Pennsylvania General Assembly. Representative, thank you for taking some time to join us today. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, what are some of the things that you're hearing from, from your townships and your local governments uh, that you represent? And then is, uh, you know, what you're hearing statewide from folks and some of the issues that are important to them. So th thanks so much for that question. It's a really good one. And, you know, I do stay in close touch with my local governments. And I think just, you know, to pull back a little bit, I'm not sure who would be watching this, but, you know, for educational purposes, I think, you know, folks tend to pay a lot of attention to the federal government because it's, you know, for lack of a better word, it's sexier, it's in the news. But um, state and local government work very closely together. And these are, uh, you know, government levels that have an impact on people's daily lives um, that's, that's very significant. So, you know, what I'm hearing from my local municipalities are uh, some of the challenges that, frankly, are, we're, we're hearing. Um, and I know you're hearing at PSATs from municipalities across the state. And that is, you know, our infrastructure is crumbling. You know, we have a lot of issues, you know, with stormwater management and, you know, an aging infrastructure. That's a bad recipe right there. Um, yep. We also have a significant issue um, with firefighting and first responders um, because we've relied so long on, on volunteers. And that is something that, you know, we really don't, it does not seem sustainable. And so our townships are really wrangling with how to address that problem. And, you know, it's just basically managing growth. Um, you know, here in the Southeast, you know, we are just, you know, growing leaps and bounds. Right. And yet, you know, especially in my district, we have a long storied history of agriculture. And so we're trying to, you know, conserve space, support, you know, agriculture. Um, we don't want to lose any more agricultural land, but we also, you know, want, you know, passive recreation. Folks, you know, come to Chester County for our bucolic scenery. Um, you know, that drive, you know, from, from work to home is just, you know, that exhale you feel when you're, you're traveling through our, our area. It is, is something that people value and pay dearly for, frankly, as well. So those are the concerns that I hear about so often in my district and from my municipalities. These are the challenges they have hiring folks for their public works departments um, and, and just, you know, how to how to work more efficiently with state agencies. So this is where, you know, I come in as a, as a conduit, hopefully, and make sure those conversations are happening. Yeah, it's really important that that, that conversation, uh, that communication that you have uh, with the with the supervisors uh, in your district and 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 all the issues that you mentioned are are, are issues that, as you know, uh, are spread across the Commonwealth. So, what are some of the things that our folks can do uh, to communicate to to other members of the legislature? Uh, you know how important these are uh, to them. Right. So this communication is so key. And, you know, I see your face at our local government commission and our local government committee meetings. So I know you're doing your part in getting that information and sharing it back to, um, you know, the, the, the association, but making sure that, you know, there are if there aren't working groups, which I believe there are committees that are you know examining these specific issues getting them in front of um, state reps. So, you know, one of the things I have to explain frequently is the fact that, um, you know, I'm on four committees and so I go deep into a lot of these issues, but I really, I rely on my colleagues on human services and education. Those are two committees I'm not on. Right. I rely on my colleagues to help educate me on those issues and our leadership. So I think, you know, we, I can't be on, you know, 26 committees and, and be a specialist in all these different areas. So I really do rely on the communication that's coming from our statewide associations and from my colleagues who do serve on those committees. So I think, you know, giving us the opportunity as a 
commission and a committee to get in front of our, our colleagues, either in a policy hearings or at your conference to share information is very important. And obviously, you know, your newsletters are, are extremely important too. And that's what we try and tell our membership is it's so important to contact their state representative, their state senator, and let them know how these issues that we've talked about are affecting them, give them the real life stories of what's going on so that they can be educated and, and come talk to you on the Committee for Local Government or, or Agriculture and Rural Affairs. Right. It's an important part to keep that communication going. Right. I think, you know, it's important for our folks who do, um, you know, stand up and run for supervisor or mayor or council in, you know, in Pennsylvania to know that, you know, we're willing partners, that, you know, this the big Commonwealth isn't going to come in and try to move your cheese, but we're, you know, definitely there to partner and help solve problems. So that's that should always be something that they, they look to do is have that relationship with their legislator. Kind of what are you feeling it? What are you hearing not only from your uh, your township folks, but from your from your constituents? What what are the, what are they talking about and what's important for them as we move into the fall and moving forward? I think, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, I haven't heard too many concerns about the budget yet. And I think that's because, you know, we we're, we're still you know, in a in a phase where we haven't gone back to school. You know, what I'm hearing from folks around the district, you know, I'm going to see a lot of them out tonight. It's National Night Out. That's um, right. Will be, you know, the um, concern about how we, you know, fund uh, law enforcement and how we provide emergency services. Um, growth is, is always a concern in my neck of the woods. And, um, and, and tra infrastructure, because we have a lot of rural state roads in my area. So they're they're not necessarily patrolled um, or maintained the way, you know, I-95 is. <laughs> so that's that's a big concern. We have a lot of state roads. So that that's what I hear about. There's quality of life issues that right. you know our people are right to care about. Well, we look forward to working with you and, and uh, your colleagues in the legislature on those issues. And Representative, can't thank you enough for taking the time uh, to join us today. And we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you so much, Joe. It's a pleasure talking to you always. And I really appreciate all that PSATS does for those who step up to serve and um, for everybody they do serve. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on Coffee in the Capital this month. Remember, if you like what you're seeing, email tvn at psats.org. Also, be sure to subscribe to PSAT's YouTube channel. Hit the bell button for notifications, follow our social media pages, and head over to the TVN page at psats.org for more township video news content. As always, thanks for watching.